Hello everybody and welcome back to my LP of Disguise PC, the normal mode. Uh, so let's just get back into it. The pants of my gear, use dimensional gate, go, so there's no way to find it, so I send it to the frozen river. It doesn't have any information to defeat the entire purpose. It does not matter. So in the off time, I have, uh, I haven't really grinded. I just went and, uh, did the promotional exam for Laharl and, uh, Planair. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that really grinding. It was just something that I was going to have to do eventually anyway. Uh, okay. And I've turned off the, uh... Okay, so we've gotten to the point where she can one-hit people. Uh, mostly due to, uh, just hit and speed being, you know, something that's not the easiest to, uh... I'm wondering if there's, like, drop-off distance? Like, the farther away you are from the enemy, the less damage you'll do. I don't think so. Uh, but it also wouldn't surprise me. Although, I guess in this version of the game it would surprise me. Uh, okay. So... Uh, I'm not sure about the height. Time, so I'm just gonna throw a lot of over there. Uh, okay. That's great. Um, that's not at all what I was expecting. Because I can't get up that area. Okay. That is fine. What I will do instead. Up there. So I can drop her. Maybe be able to throw her. No, I have to wait until next turn. Have Planar throw the Harl uh, over there. So I'm guessing you're meant to like make a magic character and then just do it with them. Um, here goes because magic has less uh, drawbacks in terms of like height and whatnot. So I'm just gonna heal because they used quite a bit of And I do have to, I believe I do have to unlock the shoe and eyeglass inventory once again because they weren't uh, excuse me for that present when I tried to go buy some stuff. There she is. What? She's the assassin. I was expecting somebody a little more... menacing. Oh well. Just shut up and capture her! Aye aye, dude! Huh. Prima Pretty Prepanica! Mighty Warriors, protect me! Angelic language? Prince, she must be from Celestia. Really, the white and blue palette and the fucking, like, wings on her back didn't Makes no even... difference to me. Angel or God, anyone who opposes me will suffer a terrifying death. <laughs> Say your prayers. Please don't push yourselves too hard. You guys can run if it gets dangerous. Don't let her escape. We'll teach her a lesson. some reason I've completely forgot that they weren't Santa. Oh, it is you. Please don't sorry me. How are things progressing? I'm not gonna say they've gone perfectly. Not to be concerned about. Save for going for such a heavy burden on you. Please, it was my idea to begin with. By the way, how's the girl doing? She managed to be in Ohio safely. I would not use the safely. She managed her own way. A lot of faith in her. Yeah, just do faith in him. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 
other map down. Okay. This is how this guy is supposed to be. Just gotta heal, and I'll just show you what I was talking about. So I was looking for shoes, but they don't seem to have shoes anymore, which is unfortunate, but uh, understandable, because not everything will carry over. Um, okay. How persistent! Are all demons like this? I have no other choice. I'll have to use a sleep spell. Nighty night! Oh, no, you don't! <sighs> Friar Fire Frapparisk! Flames! Burn that girl to the ground! Prince! Ugh! My hair! Now you've done it! I had my hair just how I wanted it! This is unforgivable! Feel the wrath of the hall! Okay. So I think that's the only point in the entire Disgaea franchise where they have, like, language associated with, like, the two. Um the two species, like, because that was obviously, like, a, a demonic equivalent of the angel language that they also kind of referenced. And let's take them out. Okay. It's nice to just sweep everyone just off the face of the map so easily. Okay, and then, so, nope, nope. Don't want to waste the time. Did it again. What, is, what, what is wrong with me? Would some kind of viewer tell me what is wrong with me? Because I have a few ideas, but I just need to be sure. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to uh, finish this map in one turn. Oh darn! But I have to be very careful in this uh, because I don't want to team kill. Team killing would possibly be the worst thing that could happen uh, because it would even one, even one team kill will uh, take me off the best ending. So I need to be very careful. But uh, geo block kills don't count, and pretty pretty explosion, uh, pretty explosions also do not count. It's the uh, the friendly. So I don't have to be careful about those, but I do have to be careful about my skills, be careful about just like my melee, be careful about the skills that move my character and could put them into effect. Uh, I just have to be very aware of the uh, ranges of all my attacks. You can't escape! I'm proud to say that I am the most persistent demon in all the netherworld! Is that so? Wow! That's really something! Are you trying to make a fool of me? No, I think that's the way she is. <laughs> now it's my turn to show off a little, but I'll have to use the item the Seraph gave me so I can only do it once. Are you ready? Here I go! Prince, I think we're playing by her rules. We don't have much choice, do we? So, I want you to know that getting to this point, like when I was playing the DS version, took me so much longer than this is currently taking me. Like, it is not ridiculous how fast I'm just demolishing through these stages because of my, uh, because of my just superior power. And why are you a dragon if you're weak to fire? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take Edna out just so I can have her throw a harl. And I'm 
not sure if in this game the unique moves have elements to them yet. Uh, yeah, it does. Okay. So it is a fire move. Wow, I'm surprised that you didn't die. Cool. Almost died, but didn't quite die. Thank you for healing me, and thank you for attacking me. Uh, okay, so you're level 9, you're level 9. I saw you drop you there, and nope, I'll just blaze enough to do it. Let's do that, and I will turn on friendly effects. Uh, so you can see what Hurricane Slash looks like. Uh, maybe that's why awesome. it's going to take a long time. I don't think I... Oh, damn. Okay. Well, that was pointless. Uh, I don't think when I played it originally I turned off effects. <laughs> wow! You defeated my dragon! My, my blue eyes. <laughs> You've caused a lot of trouble for me. I don't know who hired you, but I'll make you regret the day you tried to assassinate the Great Laharl. Uh, excuse me, but why would I want to assassinate you? Huh? I am Angel Trainee Flan. I am here by order of the Seraph to assassinate the Overlord, King Krichevskoy. You're here to kill my old man? Your old man? That means you're the king's son? Doesn't anyone in Celestia read the newspaper? You came all the way from Celestia for nothing. My old man died two years ago. <sighs> I'm sorry. H hey, why are you crying? Your father passed away, right? You'll never see him again. When I think about that, it makes me sad. Huh? Are you crazy? You came here to assassinate him, right? Why should you be sad? Are you not sad? Me? I don't have that emotion. That's not true. When you lose someone or something important to you, you cry, don't you? Your heart aches, doesn't it? Hm. I don't understand a word you're saying. How come? How come? Because I'm a demon, of course. Demons don't know sadness? E exactly! I've never experienced such an emotion in my entire life! If that's true, then does that mean demons don't know love either? Sadness is only possible because of love. You're right. Demons have no love either. That's... that's just... too sad. She sounds just like my mother. How stupid. Love. What good is it? What's the point in having it? Love is the reason Mother is dead. I don't believe. I'll never believe in love. If demons really don't know love, then it's my duty as a Celestian to explore the matter. I was ordered to assassinate the Overlord. But this must be a sign from the heavens. It has to be. Whether demons are pure evil or not, if they really don't feel love, I will bear witness to the truth. What's love good for? I don't need it. Demons like me don't need that kind of crap. If that is true, then demons are a real threat to Celestia. Since I can't complete my mission, I have decided that my new goal is to learn the true nature of demons. I must know for certain whether or not demons are capable of love. And if necessary, I will carry out my original mission with a new target. <laughs> All right, be my guest. I shall burn a true vision of horror into that empty head of yours. <sighs> Prince, what are you doing recruiting an assassin? And an angel at that? But this might avert his attention from me. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay, and yeah, that's Flan's deal. She's like, she has like super sympathy and empathy. Next episode. At long last, the nefarious angel Flan seems to have forsaken her evil ways. N nefarious angel? But can an old dog learn new tricks? Flan suddenly reverts to Killing Machine, slaughtering a crowd of innocent demons! K killing Machine? Finally!
Finally, she transforms into a space monster. Could this be the end of the netherworld? Space monster? All right, it's time for me to transform! Next on Space Detective Etna, Episode 3, Etna vs. Space Monster Flan. I'll protect the netherworld at any cost! I want to be a space detective, too! Too bad. Space detectives. They come back. Everything comes back around to space detective. Salary? Yep. Today is the Pretty Squad's payday. I get that part. Now explain to me why I have to pay your vassal's salary. My vassals are your vassals, right? Well, then it's only natural that you sign their paychecks. Ugh, I can't argue with that. Fine, but it's not coming out of my pocket. Huh? I thought you had plenty of money. That's my allowance. No one's touching it. Stingy. Shut up! So who's the richest guy around here? We'll just loot his place. Is he always like this? Yep, always. I've never met anybody like that in Celestia. I'd be amazed if you did. But you won't last long in the netherworld if something like this surprises you. Ooh, this is such a culture shock to me. Episode 3, A Hint of Kindness. Yeah, so you can probably start seeing the basic uh, themes of the game, where it's like, this guy had revenge, because they literally talk about revenge from the beginning, and this one's kind of like love and sympathy and being a decent entity. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so I should be good. Okay, the richest demon in the city, dude, where can I open a gate there? What can we do? We need a key. Key. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to go to, uh, I have to have a level 10 item. Uh, damn, I sold the one that I had prior. Okay. Yeah, start with the comma sword, Wiggy. Okay. Yes, I got Mr. Gen C exit. I, I want you to know that it took me so long to figure out that Mr. Gen C was just for emergency. <laughs> uh, okay, so what items do I have that are, like, super weak? Um, I'll just buy something that I can just rip through super hard. Or I'll just look at it. Um, I'm gonna cut here because I don't want to uh, waste your time with... Oh, they even give me a common sword, how nice. Uh, I don't want to waste your time with this.
Action. Tri-Burst and Hurricane Slash. Oh yeah, I forgot how goofy Hurricane Slash is. Yeah, it's, one of, it's honestly one of my most used moves. Yeah, okay. Come back. I want to get through some progress. Uh, just real quick. Because I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be based on random amount of time. Uh, random amount of time in the item world. Uh, these are from the castle. It's probably taken when the king died. So this place belongs to an act vassal. This will be fun. Apparently this is for your paychecks. You better work hard. Uh, dude, you'd think that they would just take everything for themselves. Like, oh, whatever you whatever you poach, that's your paycheck. Pennies are a lot different than celestial pennies. Celestia pennies cook, clean, and do laundry. They're all the same on the inside. On the inside, what do you mean? You're an angel and you don't know these things? Pennies have a human soul inside of them. Most of them are pretty worthless in their past lives, like murderers or thieves. They raise pennies in the netherworld, and Celestia to atone for their sins. And Celestia, they do good deeds for free. In the netherworld, they do ultra hard labor for less than minimum wage. Once they've redeemed themselves and saved enough money, they can be reincarnated. I don't know all the details, but that's the basic idea. Okay. See, whether they work for money in the world, you never heard the same money makes the another world go around. I don't get it, is money that important? Of course it is, jeez, you Celestians. Look, there's nothing more important than money. Uh, of course there's love and friendship, and... Huh? What's good in that stuff? Uh, is your head full of flowers or something? Yeah, I love flowers. <laughs> jeez, your head is full of flowers. Okay, yeah. They explore that concept more in uh, Disguise 4, which I kind of like. Uh, okay. Doesn't have exceptional. Uh, doesn't have exceptional range. It has low one range, but it has good attack, and it doesn't have any negatives like hit, like axes do. Um, so it's just a good base weapon, and its skills are like really good because they're a like you get some AOE, you get some, uh, you get some that are just singular, but it's all good. Ah, uh, Prince, look. Oh, hello, painting. It's a portrait of my old man that Edna talked about in uh, in her mode. Can just what it looks like? That's right, he's a magnificent overlord. Not even. I was ready to be thrown myself, but you went and croaked on his own. Hey, Prince, can I have it? Sure, go ahead. I don't care. Don't think about how did he pass away? Choked on a black pretzel. Huh? The overlord in Edward died by choking on a pretzel. Well, it happened, so I guess anything's possible. That was the person I said over to assassinate. Okay. This is where it starts to get a bit more fun. Okay. So, I'm just gonna uh, put him actually onto. If I could. But, that's not gonna work. Okay. I'm gonna put him here. Perfect position for me to use my nice moves that just allow me to take everyone out around me. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried because she's taking damage. Which makes sense because she on a 
obviously wasn't super strong. She was just ordinary strong. She doesn't have all the stuff on her. Like does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on the healer. I'm going to keep Laharo right here. And I'm probably going to use Flan to try and uh, get those guys. Should be fine. And yeah, everyone's still like in single digit levels. Seriously, you surround the strongest person. That's <laughs> not what I wanted whatsoever. Yeah, there's the speed. Oh, that's good. Oh, I got 1,000 kills. Good on me. They're not super powered. They're just kind of normal. I'm wondering if. Okay, I want to try something. Uh, I think I'll be able to do. But I have no reason to do it. I'm try it anyway. So, in other games, when you do that, when you uh, throw an enemy onto the base panel, um, you have, like, if your people inside the base panel are strong, you'll capture the enemy and you'll just be able to keep them. Like in the Sky 5, they had the capture moves. Uh, in other games, they didn't have those, they just uh, had the capture mechanic. You had to throw them into the base panel. Uh, and I was wondering how that would work in this game, but it doesn't seem to have been implemented. This episode here because I think I've been I think it's probably around 25 minutes or so. I don't know how long I spent in the item world. Uh, I'll probably end next episode. Uh, well, I'll end the chapter next episode and then uh, start the next one up. So with that, I hope you all have a very nice day.